Higuchi. Here's a 19-year-old from Tokyo who really had it going back in 2017, a silver medal, the Japanese National Championships, and then a world silver medal in 2018. Some injuries after that. It was a struggle getting back to this point, but finally made it to the podium again at the Japanese National Championships, a silver in 2020. Makaba Higuchi on the ice in second after the short program. She's added a triple axle to her repertoire. She has yet to land it cleanly in competition. She tried it in the short program, but fell. Setting it up here. Taking nice speed. Nice. Woo. Mm. She just became the 13th lady to land a clean triple axel in international competition. Triple Lutz, triple toe, nice save there. No matter what she's skating to, she exudes such a, a power over her instrument. She's got so much charm and skates so differently than anyone else in the world. Fortunately, double sow cow there, planning a triple. Big double axel, triple toe in the second half. This is the strongest I've seen her skate in a long time. She didn't let the excitement of that opening triple axel completely deteriorate every other element. She's kept her head on straight and skating with a cold head through this entire performance until that double Lutz was jinxed a planned triple. Her, right? I jinxed her. <laughs> What an exciting moment, landing that triple axel for the first time, and it was a beauty of a triple axel. 
She looks so strong and in control of her skating in this free skate, balancing the technical with the artistic. Wow. Bokaba did leave points on the table, technically doubling out on that triple Saukau and the triple Lutz late in the program. But she was just on fire to me in this performance. She was vibrant, she was empowered, she kept her chin up the whole way through that performance, even despite the mistakes, and didn't let herself get too proud of that triple axel. She got it right back into the program and did her job. It was just so exciting to see her skating in a queenly way, the way that she should have been skating this whole time. She's won multiple medals on the Grand Prix circuit, but never a gold. Could this be that time? Second after the short program, think back to where she was just a few years ago. That was a statement we just saw. It sure was, Terry. The triple axel was the first element in this free skate. Super slow-mo, definitely top of the news in Japan today, is going to be this triple axel. They evaluate every skater's every movement. Skating as big as football in Japan, but the triple axel looked very close on rotation. Similar to this triple, let's triple toe loop. Let's watch here. A little tight on the landing. So that triple axel and the triple lutz triple toe loop seem to be under. The triple axel and the triple lutz triple toe loop in this performance each received a call of Q, which means for the judging panel that the element is a quarter or less under rotated. Both of those elements got a negative grade of execution. The triple axel and the triple lutz triple toe loop combination each received a Q call from the technical panel, which means it is exactly a quarter turn under rotated. It's not downgraded, but definitely the attention has been called there. Both of those elements received a negative grade of execution because of that slight under rotation. But the reaction at the end of the performance is what this was all about for Wakaba. Go back to Grand Prix Japan back in 2016 where she just missed the podium after making it to the podium in France. Had a third and a second the next year, made it to the Grand Prix final, trying to get back to those years, those efforts, and that level of skating, and may have just done it with this free skate. Yeah, 64 and change, 66.88, and number one overall, 200.98. Wakaba Higuchi back to the top of the standings with one skater left.